Let's cross over to New York, where an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council, it wrapped up half an hour ago. It was called by Ukraine. And uh, following proceedings, therefore, as was Marina Portnoy. She joins us now live from New York. And as I understand it, Marina, tempers there seem to be running pretty high. You understand it correctly. This 24th UN Security Council meeting on Ukraine was extremely heated with harsh accusations being thrown from all sides. Now, as we've been reporting, Ukrainian officials claim that Russia has launched a full-out invasion of their country, which Moscow has denied. Well, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Samantha Power, accused Moscow of repeatedly lying, insisting that Russia has moved troops, tanks, armored personnel carriers, artillery, and multiple rocket launchers into Ukraine. And she said Russia cannot uh, be trusted even presenting some of her own evidence to the council. One of the separatist leaders that Russia has armed and backed said openly that three or four thousand Russian soldiers have joined their cause. He was quick to clarify that these soldiers were on vacation. But a Russian soldier who chooses to fight in Ukraine on his summer break is still a Russian soldier. Yet still, according to the Russian government, the soldiers were never there. They were never in Crimea either until Russia announced that those soldiers who were never there had annexed Crimea. Now, shortly after the U.S. envoy spoke, a Russian ambassador, Vitaly Cherkin, did fire back. First, he said that the current escalation of violence in Ukraine is the consequence of the direct policy of Kyiv, which he says is carrying out a war on its own people. Russia says the Ukrainian military continues shelling civilian quarters, and tens of thousands of people are currently sitting in basements without food, electricity, or medicine. According to Moscow, over 814 thousand Ukrainian refugee, refugees have fled to Russia to flee the violence carried out by Kyiv. Now, during the meeting, uh, Ambassador Cherkin called on the U.S. to stop interfering in the international affairs of a sovereign state and told Washington to rein in its geopolitical ambitions. Everyone knows that uh, uh, there are Russian volunteers in the eastern parts of the Ukraine. No one is hiding that. Uh, we'd like to see similar transparency uh, shown by other countries. For example, uh, uh, maybe our American colleagues can tell us about uh, what uh, the tens of American advisors who are in the uh, building of the Ukrainian Security Council are doing, or how many so-called uh, mercenaries uh, from so-called uh, military enterprises are waging war thousands of kilometers away from their land. Where uh, did the Ukrainian security forces get the latest uh, American weapons? It's important to point out that amid all the allegations of a so-called Russia, Russian invasion, nothing has been independently confirmed. A spokesperson for the UN Secretary General said it cannot be verified that there are Russian troops in Ukraine. And even Jen Psaki, the spokesperson for the U.S. State Department, says Washington doesn't doubt Kyiv's assessment, but U.S. officials just don't have any independent verification. Now, at the Security Council meeting, Ambassador Cherkin also stressed that it's essential for all parties to maintain the positive tone of Tuesday international meeting in Minsk, where Presidents Putin and Poroshenko had their first face-to-face -face meeting and agreed uh, for the need to work towards a peaceful solution.